Hi everyone, I would like to introduce you to the new change data capture or the CDC feature that we just released in public preview. CDC allows you to efficiently consume a continuous and incremental feed of change data from Cosmos DB Analytical Store. As it's based on Analytical Store, it does not consume your provisioned RUs and it does not affect your transactional workloads. It also comes with inbuilt checkpointing and so you do not have to maintain your uh, watermarking, etc. It's seamlessly integrated with Azure Synapse and Azure Data Factory. A few other capabilities that comes with CDC are the following. It supports applying filters and projections on the change feed via a source query. So you can specify a source query and say, I want to do change feed only on property one and property 10. It also supports capturing deletes and intermediate updates. So if you want to keep track of the history of updates, you can do that as well. It also has the ability to filter the change feed for a specific type of operation. Let's dive into a quick CDC demo. CDC is integrated with both Azure Synapse and Azure Data Factory. I'm using Azure Synapse here, but the experience from Azure Data Factory will be very similar. This is a CDC from Cosmos DB to Delta Lake. So on the source side, select the source type as inline, dataset type as Cosmos DB for NoSQL, and the link service pointing to my Cosmos DB account and database. On the store type, I selected analytical. Input can be a container or a query. If it's the container, then the entire container is CDC'd. If it's a query, you can specify uh, the selected properties and a filter uh, that you need to do the CDC for. You can say start from beginning or from a given timestamp or from now. These are the options to capture intermediate updates, deletes, and TTLs. On the sync side, I selected Delta here. You can select any of the other uh, things as well. Uh, and then here I selected a target folder for Delta files to be written. On the update method, this is where you can specify what all operations you want to track for. So in this case, I'm tracking everything, but you can, you can say, you know, just allow inserts. I don't want to track delete subserts and update. If you're tracking updates and deletes, RID is the, is the field or the property that uh, identifies a record uniquely. So you want to specify RID there. Now, this container here, item container, is an empty container right now. I'm going to ingest some uh, records into this container. So this will ingest 1,000 records, sleep for 60 seconds, and then do that three times. You can see some uh, records inserted into that container. Now I go here, here. I'm going to uh, schedule this CDC to execute every minute. And so this triggers every minute. I'm going to say I start this. And so if you go here, you can see that it has completed, uh, it completed uh, ingesting uh, three times. And so if you see the Delta job here, the CDC execution here, you can see that it has completed three times as well. Um, so if you see the first time, the first execution, it picked up 1000 record. And in the, in the next two executions, it picked up the next 1,000 records each. And so if you query the Delta table or the Delta um, directory here, we should see like 3,000 records in here. While that's coming up, um, I want to select 
one of the IDs from here. can see that it has 3000 records. Now I want to see this record. So you can see this record here. And now I want to go and delete that record from here. It's gone. And so the next execution uh, of CDC should pick up that deleted record and should delete it from the Delta as well. So uh, while we're waiting for that, you can see that uh, these executions were in the 30 seconds range. Yeah, and, and you can see that it's, it's deleted from the Delta as well. Yeah, so that should be enough for you to get started on uh, using CDC. Um, I am excited to hear back from you and uh, hear your feedback. Uh, thank you so much for watching.